Inspired by the pomegranates of Yazd, I'd like to show you a dish which uses pomegranate juice and molasses in an unusual way. Fesenjun, as this dish is called, is from the Caspian region of Iran. And there are several different steps to this dish. But once you get the hang of it, you will want to make it again and again because it's really delicious. So what you first need to do is grind some walnuts so that it's almost like wet sand. And just keep stirring it because it will burn very, very easily. Perfect. This is what you're looking for. The golden color. Yeah, it's a volcano. Put this on low heat and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to sear my chicken pieces. A little bit of olive oil, not too much. You've got a lot of oil from the walnut. And then I'm going to add chicken breast. You can use a chicken with the bone. It adds a lot more flavor, but this is definitely quicker to make. And in the Caspian region of Iran, they make this dish with duck. You're searing it, so you're not cooking it through. It's still raw in the middle and golden around the edges. I'm going to add my turmeric. Iranians love to use turmeric with their meat dishes because it takes away the smell of the meat. And it's anti-inflammatory, really adds a lot of flavor. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the walnut mixture that's been cooking for about 30 minutes. Here we go. Wow. Great. The color is still pale, but once you add the pomegranate molasses and the juice, it's going to become darker. Okay, now cook it for another 30 to 40 minutes on low heat. While our fesenjin stew is cooking away, let me tell you about laboshak. Laboshaks are fruit rolls which are made with sour plums and are a favorite healthy snack of Iranian kids. They're sweet and sour. They take pure fruit purees, boil them down and spread them thinly into large discs. They then dry them into a tasty tangy piece of edible leather. I've kept a wooden spoon in here. What this does is conduct the heat so that the walnut mixture doesn't catch at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and add my pomegranate paste or molasses. It's the same thing. Ooh, gorgeous. And the fresh pomegranate juice. Again, you want fresh pomegranate juice. If you can't find fresh pomegranate juice, Go ahead and use unsweetened pomegranate juice from the store. And if you can, find the Persian brand even better. And I'm just going to add some laboshak, which are fruit rolls. And this is quite unusual and somebody may gasp behind the screen, but this really adds a lot of flavor. And this particular laboshak is made from pomegranates. And then again, you're going to let it cook for another 30 to 40 minutes. Once it's done, you just need to taste it a little bit to see whether it's got the right balance of sweet and sour. Mm. In this case, I need a little bit of brown sugar to make it slightly sweeter. And if you feel like your pheasant june is too sweet, you can go ahead and add a little bit of lemon juice all depends on the kind of pomegranate molasses or paste you're using. If it's too sour, too sweet, you just need to find the right balance and see what you like and recreate it for your own family. Now, I'm gonna have it with some lovely smoked rice. It looks like a Mexican mole, but it's more like a satay with some pomegranate molasses in it. Pomegranate, tender chicken, and the smoked rice, unforgettable experience. Mm.